As we look at our swing, there's an important concept to understand, and that's spinal flexion. That's going to refer to the amount of tilt towards home plate I create with my spine as I rotate. So here's a middle-middle belt high pitch. and You can see the level of my shoulders is going to match the level of my bat. We're going to do the same thing for a low and away pitch, and that's going to change. So I need to be able to create strength in whatever level of rotation I create. So what I want to be able to do is add a load uh, to this movement so that I can increase the strength I have in this movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a stable base, so just a square tiger position. We're going to load by hugging a medicine ball, and then we're just going to start to create that spinal flexion, that tilt side to side here. We're going to move slow, yeah, we're going to be focused, and we're going to breathe through this movement. It's important to look at this movement from the side so that you can see the plane that my body is moving in. I'm not creating any rotation. I'm not creating anything forward or back. I'm simply moving side to side to load the structures that are going to be responsible for holding me up uh, during my swing. Once I've established some strength in this nice stable position, we're going to move on to the lunge position, which is going to replicate our swing a lot more. This is going to greatly affect the forces that we feel on specific areas of our body. Specifically, our feet are going to have to work a lot harder uh, to keep us balanced. So other than the foot position, all the other aspects of the movement stay the same. We're going to stay in that same plane of motion as we go side to side. It's important also whenever we do anything split stance that we're working both sides of the body. So we definitely want to switch feet after we do a few. The next step is to incorporate the stride and load. This is a great way to create separation between our stride foot and our upper body. And then we're gonna slowly start to introduce some rotation and that tilt at the same time. We wanna go through the motion completely forward, bring it all the way back, and then we're gonna be a switch hitter here and we're gonna work both sides of our body so that we're functioning as evenly as we possibly can. Remember to work through this slow and focused. The final step, as we can see from the front view here, is that we need to add various levels to this movement. So we want to think about different pitch locations and how our tilt is going to help us get to each one of those positions. Again, make sure we move through the motion forward as well as backwards. We call this back shaping, which can give us double the reps for each attempt.